All right, hello, good morning. My name is Jared Hansen. Uh, I'm a mechanical design engineer, and I was asked the question of how do you convert an OBJ file to an STL file, OBJ file being an object file, and um, STL file being more commonly used for uh, 3D printing. So I'm gonna show you how to do that easily, simply, and hopefully less than a minute. I tried it a second ago and got a minute and four seconds. So uh, it's pretty simple, it's free. I'm also gonna link these two files. One of is an OBJ and one is an STL so that you can try this yourself and I'll also link where to get Fusion 360 for free for personal use. So um, I'm gonna link uh, this Thingiverse file, which is uh, me uploading one OBJ and one STL uh, of each of these. And then uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and ask them in the comments. This video is actually in response to someone asking a question, uh, this exact question. So I typically can you know make a video and get it back out pretty quick, so just let me know. All right, so jumping straight in, uh, we're in Fusion 360. Uh, can you tell the difference between an OBJ and an STL? Well, if not, don't worry, because they're pretty similar and almost identical in terms of use at a hobbyist level. So I'm just gonna create a new file, as you saw there. Go ahead and redo that in case you don't see. So I'm gonna click New Design. All right, well, we don't even need to save this file at this point. Um, and let's jump right in and show this. So I'm gonna restart the timer and let's go. So I'm gonna go to, first I'm gonna look at my document settings, check my units. If they're not in millimeters, change them to millimeters. The way I'm doing now, go to insert, insert mesh, find your OBJ file here, open it, and confirm that you're uploading or you're uh, inserting in millimeters. So. That looks great. Uh, so now let's save this as an STL file. Easiest way, double click it, then right click, save as STL. I'm gonna go ahead and send it to my printer to check. Yep, that looks good and identical to the STL version that I printed, so that's great. Another way you could do this is uh, click the body here, right click, save as STL, unclick send the print utility, click OK, and save. Let's see where we got, 55 seconds. So under a minute, great. Uh, and as you can see, body one saved as an STL file here. Let's go ahead and open that and confirm. Yep, looks great. So like I said, very simple, very easy. Um, now I'll go ahead and go a little farther and convert uh, STL to OBJ. There's an, I've never ran into a situation where I need to do that, but it's available if you need it. So let's go ahead and Go to insert mesh, find the STL file that I want to convert, and insert it, move it over, click OK, confirming millimeters, and I'll name that one STL just in case so if you want to keep track of that. Okay, I can double click, right click, save as OBJ, and now I can save it as an object file, which we'll save as um, trial. OBJ. Now let's go open that in our print software to confirm that it matches um, with the other type. So load trial OBJ open and as you can see it is nearly identical to the STL files. So that was very simple right? Um, if you have any more questions on uh, more in-depth <laughs> stuff about uh, OBJ files, STL files, 3D printing, uh, CAD, design, etc. feel free to reach out. And last, uh, you can always, of course, go to export and then export them in your file format that you want, such as, as you see, OBJ there, and you see STL there. Um, this is just a faster way that I thought I could do under a minute, so I thought it'd be fun, but you can always go to export. So, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.